Hello and welcome to Toy Soldiers HD. Yes, this has come to Steam. And if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This video is kindly sponsored by Catapult. And this is the same Toy Soldiers HD that you remember from Xbox Live Arcade. That was a very long time ago. And personally, I feel like they've done a good job in... Well, bringing it up to scratch, but obviously that's up to you to decide. So, you know, you can take a look at the link and then you can see what's going on there. But generally, let's play. It has campaign. It has multiplayer. We're going to be playing the campaign here. There's also a level select and obviously a display case and all that sort of thing. So as you can see, I've already played the first two missions. I actually want to continue on, but I feel like it's kind of important to show you the next um, the next ones, and I was playing on casual, so why don't we play on normal and see how I do, because obviously, <laughs> I am, okay, so here's the thing, if you don't know this about me, I'm a big fan of tower defense, I absolutely love tower defense, I, I love every single kind of tower defense, whether they give you a character to play with or not, you know, by itself, or, if you just are, a, you know, sort of like eye in the sky sort of experience as well. I love all of it. Every single tower defense I really, really enjoy. And this is one of those special ones. This is one of those special ones that allows you to control anything that you see on the battlefield. I believe I can even, can I, can I take control of these guys? I don't think I can, I, I, I don't think I can take control of the, um, of the soldiers or anything like that. But I can take control of the guns and the emplacements and things like that and i'm actually going to continue launching waves ahead of schedule as well because if you launch waves early against yourself you're going to gain a uh, score uh, you know increased score and you're also going to be getting um more uh, more money as a result of that too anyway I'm not going to be using the red star at the moment now the red star is like a chemical gas obviously this is set in world war 1 and generally, I don't think that is that helpful. So I'm actually going to use the mortar here. And I think we might actually have some issues. I think we might actually have some problems. Maybe. Maybe we'll have some problems. Maybe we won't. It really very much depends on if I'm able to get uh, some additional kills so that I can actually create another machine gun. Uh, do you think you can actually do this, AI, sir? Because obviously the AI of the of the guns is uh, pretty much paramount here. Generally, what I would have done is if I had more time and I wasn't actually just blabbing on, I would have taken control of some of these guys. Oh well, we're going to take a little bit of damage here, which I think is probably going to happen. Yeah, we're going to take a little bit of damage here, but that is not that big a deal. As long as you don't end up losing the entirety of your toy box because bear in mind this is indeed toy soldiers and you are literally playing with toy soldiers so do bear that in mind anyway i'm going to continue getting new waves along here and i'd like to build one of these there we go and now we can actually take over look at this i can literally take over and i can shoot with the gun and i can do massive amounts of damage and you can see here i'm actually pretty good i i think i'm i'm much better than the ai is at least I think so, and um, that is generally helping us a great deal. Unfortunately, it is still allowing a couple of people through, which is to be expected, of course, but I think we're doing quite nicely. Okay, so some people are going to get by once again, but that's okay. That's actually not even a big deal, because we can now upgrade these guys as well, because there's a number of upgrade levels that you're going to be able to get with the various... Um, the various gun emplacements that you can get. And obviously, this is not one of those games where you have an infinite amount of different places to, to place things, but that just increases the strategy, really, because even though there's no mazing or anything like that, you have to choose what you're going to be using. And some of the time, you can make the wrong choice. <laughs> you can make the wrong choice. I have done that. So let me actually upgrade this in just a second. Ah, my machine gun apparently is being attacked as well. Because these emplacements all have HP. So you also need to be a bit wary of that too. And I'm going to be upgrading this one over here. As you can see, it takes a little bit of time and disables the ability for the gun to attack it, you know, while it's upgrading. And in the meantime... I'm going to just watch out and see whether I need to take control of this thing over here. On the next map, they give you even more options. You're actually able to 
um, act as a sniper in an actual sniper tower, which I thought was very cool, and I, I very much enjoyed doing that. So hopefully I'm going to be able to show you that after this. There we go. Nice, nice damage, nice damage. Now you may be wondering, what are these, what are these five times and three times bonuses that you're getting here? You know, you may be wondering that. Well, once you fill up that green bar on the top left, just underneath your HP, you're able to bombard the battlefield with huge amounts of artillery and everything, and that is going to really help you out. It is going to do massive damage. Now there is a howitzer here as well. I'm going to get a howitzer. And this is a special emplacement that you can only place in this larger area here. And that is really going to make a huge difference to how many infantry units we're going to be able to kill at any one time. And that's going to make everything just that much easier. So otherwise, let's continue to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade our mortar. And I do need to upgrade and indeed repair this as well. But bear in mind, every single time you spend cash, you're losing score. So if you want to get a high score in this game, you need to work out the proper strategy for it and, you know, you need to be very frugal with your spending and so on. Personally, I just like having fun in the game, so that's not really my my thing, but I think that's really cool. There's a standard bearer here. What? What is this? Look at this. I'm literally following this guy. And yes, indeed, he is playing the bagpipes. He is playing the bagpipes. And as you can see, there he goes. There he goes. He is literally running. And I, I don't really want to run with him, to be honest. I think he's literally... I, I think that's a bit too... Um, it's a bit too much for me. And we're just going to see if I can maybe defeat some of these enemies here. Unfortunately, I did not upgrade this gun. Bear in mind, the cavalry has the ability to jump over trenches. So that is obviously making everything much, much more difficult than it otherwise would be. Now, every single time you upgrade a, 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 a gun emplacement, it is going to do something different. So, for example, right now we have the Vickers machine gun. I personally like this machine gun a huge amount. It just doesn't have a huge amount of punch. And it doesn't actually need to reload as long as you don't overheat it. Because obviously it's consistently being fed by bullets by that box on the left there. You see that box that that guy is holding. And you don't really need to do anything with it. You don't need to reload it as long as you don't, as I say, overheat it. The overheating is the main problem with this gun. However, if you upgrade it and you, you upgrade it to the 37mm infantry gun, you're going to need to reload this. And you can see that it literally fires like this. You see, it is completely different firing mechanism, and that really makes a big difference to how how um, how it's going to work against certain enemies. Anyway, we have barrage. Barrage is available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call for the next wave, and then I am going to launch the barrage when we need it the most. That is what I am going to hope to do here. I will get the Vickers machine gun out again as well because I haven't upgraded this one yet. I actually need to upgrade this? Why haven't I upgraded this? I'm using the barrage now, by the way, because I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be able to hit everything in the area. But look, look at it. Look at what is happening right here. It's crazy amounts of damage. Yes, it's crazy amounts of damage. And hopefully it's going to kill most of the... Really? It didn't kill any of the cavalry? <laughs> uh, well, it killed most of the cavalry, I suppose, so I guess that's decent. But yeah, these armored cars are now coming in here as well. Armor the armored cars are not that difficult to take care of, especially in the first level, but they are going to be still much more difficult than just regular infantry. I probably should have summoned one of those chemical weapons, to be honest, to deal with the infantry at the start there. That probably would have made more sense, but they have a very low HP value. And their HP is obviously quite paramount at the very beginning of the maze. Because you really don't want to have your main infantry killer be destroyed by random stuff. So, come on. Oh, no, no. I had to reload. Oh, I, I killed it. But uh, unfortunately, the 3% was still damaged. Oh, well, never mind. But there you go. There's a victory for us right there. So, we're going to see. Oh, yeah. Apparently, I already got... Did I already get Colonel? Really? Yeah, I think I, yeah, 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 I actually did get Colonel. That is that is pretty crazy because 
as, as I said before, I was playing on casual because I was just wanting to check out the game and see how it was uh, working with my recording software and everything. And I, I could only get Sergeant, so it seems like it really makes a huge difference what difficulty you play on, obviously, as well. And there we go. The, there are my stats. You can see that I... Um, <laughs> you can get bullet combos. You can get a 20 times bullet combo if you're really good. And I only got one of those. So let's continue onwards to the next level and see what we can do. Now, bear in mind that there are special bonus objectives that you're going to be able to complete as well. And I saw that on the level select screen. I'm not entirely sure if I will be able to complete it um, this time, but I'm going to I'm gonna try it out. I'm going to try it out and see what happens. Now, what I'm going to need to do here is I'm going to need to destroy this emplacement because this is an enemy emplacement right here. And unfortunately, if I build anything ahead, it's not actually going to give me the ability to um, defend against this that easily because the AI is going to prioritize other units and everything. So it's going to be a bit difficult for it to, there we go, for it to actually work. So there we go. That's what we're going to do. That's fantastic. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Red Star right about there. And I'm then going to get a bunch of Vickers machine guns as long as I have the uh, the cash to be able to do that. As you can see, I've got my own little forces, uh, you know, walking ahead here, which is actually quite cool. And you do get to see them uh, fighting the opponent and everything. And I, I really like that. Anyway, let's get a machine gun right there. And wow, yeah, Red Star is doing so much damage to these infantry right here. And it's completely just stopping them in their tracks. Really exactly what we want to see. And otherwise, there is the sniper tower, which is what I was talking about earlier. So this is the sniper tower. You can literally go into this. Wait a minute. Who's that guy? Is that guy an enemy? Are you... Si you scoundrel. You're literally getting... Get, you're, you're getting by here? How dare you? I will take him down. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe that some of them actually made it. That is crazy. Okay, yeah, some of them actually made it past Red Star. I have no idea how they were able to do that, but they were, which is crazy. Okay, so, yeah, otherwise Red Star is just going to be something that I'm going to have to be very careful of because I really don't want that to be destroyed too easily. I'm actually going to be building a... Probably another howitzer, but I'm going to need a thousand for that. And that's maybe going to be a little bit too... A little bit too much. Let's get another machine gun up here. And let's go into the sniper sniper tower so I can actually show you this. Now, bear in mind the... Uh, the sensitivity in this, uh, in this tower is really, really low, as you can see right there. So turning the, uh, turning the camera is very difficult in that. But I, I think in general, if you, have, um, if you have a mouse that can change sensitivity or if you're using a controller or something like that, you'll probably have a, a perfectly fine time with it because you are going to need the precision. You are going to need that precision. Anyway, one out of three barracks. Yeah, yeah. I think the, um, the special objective is to destroy the barracks in the, in the level. So maybe we want to do that? Question mark? Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Well, let's just have a look-see here. I'm just going to get another howitzer up and running. need to get every single thing that I can up and running here. So where are the barracks? Is that one there? Yeah, I think that's one there. Where's the other one? I don't see the other one. Uh, yeah, Red Star's still fine. Are we seeing any people get by? Yes, a couple. We shouldn't have to worry too much about these. Um, I hope, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm kind of hoping. I'm kind of hoping. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's upgrade this guy right here. Okay, so I'm going to actually access the howitzer now because I would like to... I can't reach that. No, it seems like I can't reach that. So I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to destroy the barracks, to be honest. But I guess maybe there, maybe there's a re... Oh, yeah. Maybe there's actually a way that we can send some troops over there. And we might be able to do it that way. Because there is a standard bearer here, as you can quite clearly see. So we can basically have him do his thing. And as you can see, he's going off there. I'm not entirely sure what he's supposed to do, to be honest. But, well, I guess we'll find out shortly. I really need to upgrade these guns at the uh, at the front here. They are the ones that are primarily going to be doing a lot of damage. So it would probably be useful for us to do that. There is a bunch of horses coming in. So I'm actually going to go into the sniper tower here. And the really cool thing about the sniper tower is that you can kill cavalry instantly, basically. 
as long as you're decent at shooting, which I'm not that good at, but yeah, generally, if you're decent at shooting, you know, semi-good at it, then you're going to be absolutely fine. As you can see, there's someone getting by. Ah, get, oh, get him. No, he actually made it past. I can't believe it. Well, 99% chance. I mean, 99% HP is still perfectly fine, so not really that big a deal. And uh, as long as you don't get a huge amount of people getting into your uh, little little base here, that is perfectly fine. As I say, it does reduce your score, but it doesn't reduce it by such a massive amount that you're not going to get a high score anyway. So, yeah, I think the most, well, should we say the most efficient thing you can really do is just try to increase your... Um, Try to increase your... Wow, what am I trying to say here? Try to increase your efficiency in terms of your spending. That's the that's the thing that I'm trying to talk about here. Because if you increase your um, frugality, I guess you could call it, then you're going to have a much easier time of things. Okay, I'm going to need to do something about these horses here. Oh, reloading. Yeah, reloading is one of the worst things you can do with this gun. That's the reason why sometimes I actually think that maybe up, uh, up, uh, upgrading it is maybe not the best idea. Just purely for that reason. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, so I'm going to upgrade the mortar over there, and we're going to continue sending new waves towards us. And I still need to upgrade these. Why, why, why am I not upgrading these? Uh, oh, well, never mind, never mind. Howitzer is doing a fantastic job. I actually upgraded this howitzer at the back here, so it has even more damage. So that's going to be super, super fun. And even more range as well. There we go, we're sending some more cavalry. Okay, get better get on the sniper then. Better get on the sniper. So as you can see, we can zoom in super, super far with this. And I can literally just pick off these cavalry as they run out of the barracks. And you're going to need to reload with this guy as well. So there is also that. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty simple to, to pick them off. And generally, you're going to want to do this as much as possible for a high score and for additional uh, additional cash and things like that. Seems like no more cavalry. Oh, actually, there is a little bit of cavalry coming still. Nice. Three times bonus. What, I can't kill these guys in one hit? Are you serious? That's crazy. Okay, well... We're doing pretty well so far. Let's upgrade this. We've already upgraded one of those. We need to upgrade this one as well. And the howitzer really does need to be upgraded over here. It needs 1,500 to be able to upgrade that.
All right, I have Barrage available. That's going to be super fun to watch. Okay, so let me just see. I've got a lot of cash to spend here, so I'm going to wait until the big armored cars start coming over here. I mean, I think they're kind of like tanks more like, but still... You know, I'm going to wait until those guys come over here and then we're going to see if I can uh, maybe do some damage to them. We're going to speed up their wave as well. Bear in mind the barrage is going to do so much damage, or at least I hope it's going to do so much damage that we are really just going to see massive devastation in its wake. And that is hopefully going to help us to finish the level on a high note. Because this is obviously the final enemy wave. Yeah, it goes pretty quick, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes pretty quick. And, oh, wait a minute... Can you kill the... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Whew. I was literally thinking to myself, are they going to be able to kill the cavalry? Ah, uh, look at that. My red star has been destroyed. Yeah, that happened last time as well, even on casual difficulty. So it seems like the the point over here generally tends to get focused down pretty harsh. And that's obviously the reason as well why some of these towers, or most of these towers, will have HP. And uh, that's going to make a big difference. I actually don't even need to send my barrage. It just seems like I don't even need to use it because my howitzers and my mortar and, and so on were able to take care of the armored vehicles relatively easily. And there's only a, uh, a couple of cavalry units remaining. Should I just use it just because? No, never mind. I don't even need to. That is indeed the end. There we are. And I believe we got Colonel once again, didn't we? Let's have a look. We didn't earn that much cash, unfortunately. But yeah, look at that. We got the rank of Colonel. I have no idea if that's any good, actually. But there you go. Soldier sniped. Nine. Most kills with one bullet. Two. With one sniper bullet. Oh, okay, okay. I see. So at the same time. So basically, um, when you use the sniper rifle, it actually does have penetration, which is actually kind of cool. I didn't know that, so that's really nice. So that means that if I line things up much better then that's going to really make a huge difference. Okay, let's continue on to the next level. I'm actually kind of intrigued to see what happens next, because as I said, I've, I've already played these two levels. So let's have a look what the third one has in store for us. Defend the lines along Menin Road outside Nun's Wood. Click the middle mouse button for a strategic top-down view of the battlefield. Okay. Well, uh, hmm. What do I do here? Uh, well, the machine gun looks pretty good. I mean, I think the machine gun looks pretty good for, for here. And uh, maybe we should get a mortar in the back. There's a huge amount of space for the for the howitzers. What's, what's actually going on with that? That's pretty crazy, right? Okay, so I'm just going to send the wave ahead of schedule. And should I build the red star right here? This seems to make sense, right? Yeah, I think that seems to make sense. Where's my toy box? My toy box is here ah okay okay so now we kind of know where they're going to be heading so yeah i think this is a decent i think this is a decent layout i mean i could have built a mortar here but just look at how many infantry are coming this way this red star is going to absolutely destroy them i mean just look at it Look at how much AoE damage it's capable of doing. It's really crazy. And uh, yeah, why not? Okay, let's get some let's get some howitzers up here as fast as I possibly can. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we also need to rotate them, as you can see right here. You can rotate with Q and E. So E obviously goes right and Q goes left. And you need to be able to do that. Otherwise, your howitzer is not going to be able to focus on enemies that it needs to kill. So obviously that... That makes a big difference. Anyway, uh, yeah, we might have some issues. There are a couple of enemies uh, getting by here, but I'm hopeful that my machine gun will do its work, or I need to take over. I might need to take over here. As long as I fire in bursts, we shouldn't have any difficulties with the overheating of the gun. And we're also going to build a little bit of our barrage meter as well, which is always nice. And personally, I feel like half the fun is taking over one of your in, one of your gun emplacements and just having a whale of a time with that, to be honest. I think that's a lot of really, really enjoyable gameplay there. Oh, look at that. I can literally place multiple... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay, I did not realize that. I am an imbecile. Okay, well... Huh. This kind of gives me an idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to place two 
machine guns here. I'm also going to have to upgrade these ones at the uh, at the start, too. But um, what we're otherwise going to do is we're probably going to build two mortars right next to these machine guns. There are 120 units incoming. That might be a little bit too much, eh? Yeah, that might be a little bit too much. Okay, uh, what, what about the red star, by the way? Could I have used that here? Would it have actually helped? Maybe? Huh. I'm thinking we're going to sell this one, and we're going to use the red star here. I think it might work. It has very small range, so it might not give us the optimal experience, but I'm very much hoping it will. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of working. Uh, let's get a let's get another red star actually right here, and it's kind of working. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. It is definitely working much better than I than I anticipated. Okay, that's that's really good. I think I'm gonna get another howitzer around about here, and then we're just gonna point it in this direction. Yeah, around about like that. And I'm going to need to. Do I need to take over? I think I will take over just for the sake of it. There we go. Not too bad. And now I... I think now that we have so many... Um, huh. Yeah, I, I mean, I could, I could do I could do mortars all the way along here. I could do howitzers all the way along here. Personally, I like howitzers much more than I like mortars. But you've got to bear in mind that mortars can basically swivel 360 degrees in comparison to the howitzer, which, as you can see, has to be focused in a certain direction. And that's obviously going to make a, a pretty big difference to what it's able to do. In comparison to mortars that, I mean, they have a limited range, yeah, sure, but howitzers, I think, are just generally better. So I'm actually going to build another one of these, although I could get two mortars in that space. Um, well, actually, four mortars in that space in comparison to, to just one howitzer. So it might actually make sense to go for something a little bit different there, but maybe I can build one here. Let's build one right here. Why not? Let's build one. And I'm going to need to take over here because the cavalry is making themselves into a very big annoyance. Wow, this is actually really bad. Okay. Well, that was uh, kind of close. <laughs> that was kind of close. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's go for the next wave. I should have really gotten onto the sniper tower, to be honest. There is a sniper tower, so I probably should have made, um, the, you know, good use of it. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to upgrade. Oh, I can't upgrade that just yet. Oh, now that's grinding my gears. That is grinding my gears super hard. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's upgrade this. Oh, I can't upgrade that either. Are you serious? I need fifteen hundred to upgrade that. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I will upgrade this machine gun then some of the some of the front machine guns maybe that's going to make a bit of a difference uh, i should probably get on the sniper tower ahead of schedule here i'm going to be able to snipe a huge amount of enemies Not too bad. Now we are going to need to... Should I just upgrade this? I'm just going to upgrade it. And hopefully then it's going to be able to deal with things. Oh, that's a lot of people. That is a lot of people coming in. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, actually, this howitzer is doing a pretty good job. I really need to upgrade this howitzer over here. I think this one is the, the, the one that's doing the most damage. Or at least I think so. Well, maybe it's not. Oh! Oh! Oh, you sneaky so-and-so. Look at that guy. You see that guy? He's going around. Wow. I cannot believe that this guy literally went around the side. That is... 
that is illegal. That is literally illegal right there. Okay, uh, let's build let's build uh, one of these, I guess. That maybe the mortar is going to be able to do something. Let's turn this let's turn this howitzer around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get murdered, sir. You're going to get murdered for being such a sneaky. Don't reload right at that moment. No. Okay, there we go. We actually did it. Whew. Okay, that was a bit too close for my liking. Okay, so we're going to have to turn this guy around now. Okay, so I might have to do this. Yeah, this is much better because that means it's going to be able to fire on the angles that we want. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, I need to upgrade this. 1500 it's going to cost. I need to upgrade this. That's going to be another 1500 Let's just upgrade this one first. And I think I'm going to get another red star, to be honest. Let's get another red star around about there. Seems like it's going to be very useful to stop the infantry from moving. Because bear in mind that red star is actually also an immobilization effect. So I don't know whether you've noticed, but it basically stuns the opponent or roots them in place for a certain period of time, which is really good. So hopefully that's going to help us. And otherwise, we're just going to build another mortar here when I have the ability to do so. I'm not getting any more enemies, really? No more enemies? Okay, that's kind of strange. I would have expected uh, certainly more enemies to come, but okay. We're getting another 50 incoming. And the cavalry is about to come. Alright, alright. This gives me a good opportunity. This means I'm going to call them ahead of time, and we're going to try and do some damage to the cavalry. Well, that seemed to work quite well, didn't it? Okay, let's ask for the uh, next wave to come in. And let's upgrade this machine gun, finally. And then we will also upgrade this one when we have the ability to do so. Well, maybe I should upgrade this mortar. But I need 1,500 for that instead of 1,000. Uh, I don't know. Wow, this howitzer is absolutely insane. The range on this thing is crazy. Ooh, this guy is not looking too good for us right now. I might have to take control, or I might just let it happen. I don't really... No, nope, there we go, there we go. We're fine, we're fine. Okay, so that should be fine too. Let's upgrade that while we still have the opportunity to do so. And let's also upgrade this when we can. As you can see, my, my new placement of the howitzer is really making a big difference, I think. Actually, is it? <laughs> Doesn't seem like it was actually even focusing that one for some reason. Okay, well, whatever the case, let's get this mortar upgraded. And then we should probably either repair this guy or upgrade it. Uh, I'm, I'm probably just going to upgrade it, to be honest. There we go. Wow, the, the, yeah, these guys have taken an absolute battering. Can't actually even repair it at the moment. Ooh, okay. This is ah, oh, this is kind of harsh. Okay, yeah, this might be problematic. Oh, 
Oh, that is a... That is a massive... Whatever that is. That is an incredibly large tank. Okay. Uh, stop the Tsar tank from reaching your toy box. I think if it reaches my toy box, I am done. I think that's probably what's going to happen. Right. Well, this is this is interesting. Okay, uh, <laughs> I, I am super worried about this. I'm going to sell this, because this is useless right now. And uh, I'm going to try and get a howitzer. Oh, I can't get a howitzer there. Uh, I guess I could just get a machine gun and then maybe upgrade it for, for cheap or something like that. Maybe I can do that. As you can see, though, the, the howitzer is doing a pretty good job. I need to turn this so that both of the howitzers can focus it at the moment. Uh, I'm wondering whether I should sell more of the Red Star. I think I will probably sell this one. No, I didn't want to rep uh, I didn't want to repair it. Okay, never mind. I will sell it now then. Okay, and then let's get a machine gun. I don't know whether that's really going to make any difference at this point. Okay, yeah, this is this is also problematic. Let's turn this. Can can it even fire from here? Can my howitzers even fire from this distance? It doesn't seem like it. They are having big problems. Well, I'm kind of hoping against hope here that something is going to happen. I have a mortar that is almost dead. I don't even know whether it's worth me attempting to repair this, to be honest. I can only hope that the Tsar tank is going to literally stop at the last moment and allow me to just destroy it. Because we are so incredibly close to death here. I think I might have it, though. Yes. Whew. Okay. That was really close. Oh my, that was really, really close. Wow, we literally got general right there. I'm, I'm not even entirely sure if that is... Is that... That's better than colonel, right? Or is it... No, I don't think so. I think colonel is better than, than general. Isn't it? I actually have no idea about ranks at the moment, but wow, that was... There you go. We got a bonus level unlock. That's pretty nice. And we also unlocked uh, elite difficulty and survival mode too. There you go. That was pretty nice. I mean, I did take... Did I take any damage whatsoever? To my toy box, actually? I don't... I don't know. Did I? Huh. Can I... Can I check that? Oh, I, I don't think I can actually check that right now. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, that's going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to check out Toy Soldiers HD, I'd highly recommend it if you're a fan of tower defense or generally if you're a fan of uh, World War One settings then uh, you can do that through the link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.